Between the excitement is everything. I Mitch, this is Mitch Reviews Everything, and I'm still in Nice, uh, basically doing back-to-back -back beer reviews, so if you saw my last one, same setting, uh, same area, and but now I will be reviewing Hellforth Brun. Uh, as you can see, it's a, I really, really enjoy this can. It has a nice pelican on it. Um, this is another French beer. Um, and I will go ahead and look at the can, and apparently they started brewing this in 1921. Uh, it's a 500, or sorry, 50 CL can. Its alcohol volume is 6.5 alcohol percent by volume. And that is pretty much all I can read from the can. Again, I don't speak, um, or read French. We'll go ahead and crack this open. Um, unfortunately, I mean, this is another one of those, oh, wow. I believe brune has to do with the color. Um, I kind of did an aggressive pour there. It's a nice brown color. Really, really dark brown. I think the brune is brown. I think that means this is a brown beer. But... I didn't think about that till I started pouring and saw how brown it was, and which was kind of shocking because all the other French beer I've tried here so far has been blondes. Um, so this pouring out like that is interesting. I'm gonna set the can down. That was about two fingers worth of uh, foam there. Head on that, um, holding it to the light. I don't know if you can. You probably can't see that at home, but. Uh, Pull up to the light, there's very little bit of carbonation in there, of course. Um, go ahead and give it a smell. Oh, whoops, got my nose. Oh man, um, smells of. I don't know, uh. I'm getting a, uh, weird, weird, I'm getting a, uh, coffee kind of smell there, but I'll go ahead and give it a taste and see what I think here. Hmm. Hmm. I know it's kind of a brownish red. So, I don't know, um, get like a coffee note on this, I don't, hmm, I don't know if this is a coffee beer, again, unfortunately, all my reviews that I'm doing out here, I'm basically kind of going at them blind, I don't know anything about the beer, um, other than kind of just looking at the can and going, that's cool, it has a pelican on it. Um, I'm getting coffee notes on that. Definitely on the aftertaste, a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee notes on the aftertaste. I don't know if this is, again, brewed with coffee, that's what my tongue's tasting on. But definitely, the aftertaste is definitely coffee, and it's a little bit up front, but... Uh, it's very mild coffee. I don't want to say mislead you and say this is a coffee beer, but I'm just getting like coffee notes. And the other thing with this beer is even though it's not a blonde, and I don't know if it's because all, all the other French beer I've drank since I got here have been blonde, I'm kind of getting like the same kind of like, there's almost this like metallic kind of flavor um, on the beer. Uh, but I'm getting like, coffee notes and like I'm also getting like a light caramel, light caramel coffee note on that. As you can see the lacing on the glass is pretty good. I don't know if they distribute this to the U.S. or not. I have no idea. I've not seen it, which is why I bought it. I'm going to give another pour there, but yeah, pour is dark, almost a brown red flavor um, color there, but. Uh, This is definitely a tasty beer. Um, I do believe this comes in glass bottles, but 
I can't remember. I remember just seeing it in the can, but um, this is a good beer. I do enjoy it. Um, definitely, definitely would uh, drink this again if I ever found it in the store uh, in the U.S. But uh, while I'm here, I will enjoy it. Like I said, this is a pretty good beer. It's it does have that metallic coffee flavor to it. Is really what I'm getting, and like a wheat, very off off wheat. But that's like background so if you like coffee and you've maybe thought that coffee beer is um to if you're looking for coffee beer so i'm trying to say that isn't just straight coffee this is definitely it man i'm getting coffee notes and again maybe it's just me i don't know but that's what i'm getting um anyways this has been mitch reviews everything broadcasting from nice france and i uh, thank you again and cheers